What's up, Yup Gang? It's your boy Taxon, and welcome back to Yup DBS City Things. And today we're going over round three of our local this week. This is going to be Trunks Vegeta versus Gogeta Zeno. But before we get into it, guys, I do want to say if you guys want any custom mats and or sleeves, absolutely check out Pro Mats, guys. This is the best place to go get your custom card needs. And if you guys do decide to get a mat from them, make sure you guys use the promo code Yup to save on your entire order. With that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this battle or my content in general, remember to hit all those buttons for me. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And with that being said, let's spin it around and dive in. Alrighty you guys and here we are with round three of our local this week we have Gogeta Zeno on the right side versus Trunks Jita on the left and today I am accompanied by Trunks Jita player himself Wub. Hey guys Wub here. Alrighty so with that being said it looks like you are going first charging yourself an extra card and doing Trunks Jita things. Oh yeah you want to get those extra cards in your energy as soon as possible try to get your mecha freezes live and then Trunks Jita uh, turn one turn two very simple turn, play out your one drops awaken. Get your three drop on field as early as possible. Absolutely, absolutely. So Gogeta Zeno probably going into his turn one. I imagine. Oh no, you you got more to do. You are searching. Yeah. Uh, also I had that Bulma. Uh, Bulma in my hand turn one. So absolutely. So when I found herself the three drop Vegeta, not too bad. Yeah, I knew I was gonna need it in this matchup. I was actually very happy to see uh, Gogeta Zeno. Not very often you see him anymore. Absolutely, absolutely. The deck was a very strong around last. Oh, uh, around, around last year, Nat's timing. And you can see as a Z-Deck, so I was intrigued immediately. Yeah, absolutely. So it looks like he swings. He's getting his auto to draw a card and take up to one life. He's using his leader effect here to go ahead and warp five cards. From, or is it five? Yeah, it's five. He has five. And he had a gr great five. He saw Pan... Er, uh, He's seen a lot of things Kai. that he needed, that's for sure. He definitely seen targets that he needed. He's seen Kai. And he played his true fighting spirit, Goku, which is going to hurt being a yellow player. Yeah, and he leaves in active. There's not much I can really do. I can try to rest it, but... Yeah, absolutely. So we're starting off your turn by awakening, swinging with leader, playing a one-drop from the drop barrier, playing the Vegeta from the deck, comboing, getting some Z energy, paying one. It looks like we're going to Z-evolve the trunks, draw two. And from there, we just pass turn back over to Gogeta. Yeah, like I said, simple turn, too. Absolutely. So, what are we expecting here from Gogeta's? You know, we know he's got one thwarting in deck. We know he has access to things like the Trunks uh, God card. That was for the Trunks card, or for the Trunks deck. He has th he has also has access to Cumber in this deck, which he technically could just warp off the top five and have live immediately. Not only that, the deck has fantastic barrier removal. That six drop hurts. Right, it's that cheap. blocker right there. Yeah, got rid of my 3-drop immediately. Yep, Prox Deleter as well to go ahead and uh, draw a card because he used the Union Fusion. Yep, and luckily he is rested. Uh, Trunks rested him immediately before he was popped. Looks like we're swinging here with the leader next. He's going to get a draw and a take a life. We'll see if he decides a combo to make it uh, a lethal attack. Looks like he does combo. This is a God Trunks card. This is the 5-drop. Yeah, but he that was, does go to the drop area. I think he was deciding on Z charging or not, but... We're seeing an overarm 3 here. Draw 2, warp 1. Uh, choosing to warp a Shroom and Salzo. Very interesting tech in this deck. I was very happy to see that in that deck, too. I feel like that card slept on. Uh, the only bad part about the card is it has Servant, so you only get the one use out of it, and it's only a 2 energy investment. Not only that, the opponent chooses, so if they have more than one battle card on field, it doesn't really get around barrier, but... They're just going to choose some, some little body. All right, I 100% agree with that. So it looks like he's swinging with your leader here. He's going to negate with Power Burst, and of course that allows him just to go grab another negate from the warp, which is very strong, grabbing that Goku Zeno negate. Yep, and I just play You're out doing my your one autos. Drops. You're doing your autos here. Uh, autos are playing, one drops, one drops are playing, one drops off autos. I, Here we're seeing the Vegeta Zeno evolve. It looks like you didn't have a Trunks to set up this turn, but maybe this is more or less for removal. Yeah, I really wanted to get rid of that blocker. I felt Absolutely. I was a little salty. Clear. I wanted some revenge. Absolutely. He got rid of your card. You got rid of his card. I feel you. <laughs> and he so get not too shabby either. You know, that got you two draws. I got you a 20k attacker, which did deal the damage. And then, of course, I got you the removal, which is very good. You're just passing turn here with two energy up. And you're at five life, so you're... Pretty chill, you know. You got oh, things yeah. like Frieza Army Reinforcements Live. You got Mecha Live for two energy if you want. Oh, yeah, I'm 
if you're, of chilly. course, if you uh, freeze the army reinforcement, the first attack mecha is live on one. So that's good. Yep. Yep. And I'm at five. But we do so have to worry of... about this true fighting spirit. I keep forgetting about this card. If you any time you activate a counter once per turn, you will have to warp one from your hand. Yeah, and there's not really much I can do about him, which is making me kind of. Right. The best thing you can do, really, is just activate Realm, rest it, and then KO it with Vegeta next turn or swinging into it. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta put some effort into it, for sure. Yeah, you do gotta put effort into one-drops when you're playing yellow for some reason. The only <laughs> the only card, in my opinion, that really makes it easy to get rid of one-drops is the three-cost Trunks Unison, the plus minus zero on that oh, card. Yeah. This allows you to rest anything, and if it's a four-cost or less, it just gets KO'd, which easily gets rid of cards like that. Pesky little one-drops. Oh, yeah. And I'm at five, so I'm kind of chilling. I want to kind of control ooh, myself ooh, down to. Ooh, we got four. two for Cumber. We got two for Cumber. An early Cumber at a that. A very, a very, uh, you're not wrong. A very early Cumber here. You're at five life, so he does get to go through your life and put you to four, while at the same time warping your Vegeta from field, which is not too shabby. But honestly, in his defense, probably a good time for him to play this Cumber because you don't have a three drop Trunks in field, so he doesn't have to worry about it getting rested. Oh, yeah, he definitely saw a good opportunity, and he took it. Yep, and here he smacks the Vegeta out of life, which is very powerful because now you got one less op uh, one less target for that to make that an option in order to slow down this Gogeta Xeno. Yep, and he does d decide to play out the Vegeta for my warp, yep. the uh, three drop. Absolutely, and he awakens there as well, on tap one, draw one. We'll see what he decides to do here. He does have quite a bit, and the first, we also got to keep in mind that the first battle card that you play is going to be yoinked from cumber if he decides to get rid of one of his uh battle cards yep and he just gets rid of my uh yep so yeah, there out comes the blocker gogeta warps your one drop swinging with his leader next it looks like you do mecha you warp for cost off of uh goku yeah i didn't want to have to pay those two for the trolls i felt like that was a good pitch target i know he has a lot of bodies but he's not resting where i need it need him to rest right absolutely You paid two for Mecha Frieza here, and you still feel pretty safe here. Are you relying on a Frieza reinforcements in this predicament? I can't quite remember what's in my hand, but I'm feeling like I'm at four life. He, sure, he has some bodies out, but he's going to have to start resting a lot, and he doesn't have that much energy. So if Absolutely. he wants to tap himself out, that better for me. Sure, I might get low, but I can always bounce back. I'm yellow. He's Absolutely. black, so if I can just outlast him. Basically, basically, and this deck does lose draw power as it awakens if you do not continue with fusions, which is uh, a downfall to the Gogeta Xeno deck. Yeah, they took out. And he, a uh, real quick recap, real quick, he did just bottom deck a Supreme Kai from his warp to go ahead and play his unison from Ham. This is a Broly unison, which I was very intrigued to see what this card did, but it essentially just puts cards from your warp to your drop area and helps you uh, fill up your drop for. Uh, over rumps and it's a free it's a 15k as well so it's a free attacker yeah just you can't attack it as two or fewer markers i believe yep, so you gotta get to three markers so which is nothing new with black a lot of the unisons are similar or like this that is uh that is a hundred percent effect and you still have mecha freeze on field which is nice you have a little bit of combo fire it looks like he didn't choose to use his cumber auto on that in that timing so you are pretty safe to use things like freeze army reinforcements now yeah, and I'm a little nervous. I know he's got uh Oh, an so energy. here we see Piccolo Gohan. You super combo to get out of that attack. You uh you play him and of course you get to rest a battle card or a unison and you choose to go ahead and hit Cumber. Very smart because now you don't have to deal with that attack. Yeah, that's secret. Charging your second extra card, very smart, because now you are set up for a one energy, not a two energy, Mecha Frieza. Oh yeah. You want Mecha Frieza as cheap as possible. <laughs> Absolutely, but hey, Paying two energy for that mecha on that turn, I think, is what saved you quite a few attacks there. So you swing oh, with yeah. your Piccolo that Gohan also first. Saves the Piccolo Gohan because otherwise, uh, or no, I think the secret is just seven or less. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, it's when oh. they play a battle card with energy cost of seven or less. Yep, and he's eight. And it drop. doesn't choose it too, which is very powerful. So it does get around barrier. So you swing with your Piccolo uh, Gohan. You want that draw. You want that rest. You get that blocker out of the way, which is very smart. This might be your go in turn. This might be a good opportunity for you. We're going to see what you decide to do here. You do still have your leader effect loaded, I believe, so we shall see. Unless I'm blind and I just missed you using it. Uh, I believe... No, I you still got I it. I still have it, yeah. I think this is exactly where I'm about to use it. I think he has no negates. 
I would imagine he says no negates. I believe he only has one or two in one energy up actually, I believe. Because yeah. he did Union Fusion after Cumber, so he should only have one. And I was really baiting out the uh the Kai on the first uh this uh secret swing. I knew he had the one energy open. I figured he was gonna Kai negate me. He didn't, I was surprised. Right, so you didn't want to swing with something else and lose your secret rare without it. Like, you didn't want to hit that Kai to stop two attacks instead of one. Yep, yep, exactly. Makes perfect sense to me. So you did play your one drop off your leader auto when you swing with your leader there. Of course, he does have to... Because you played a battle card, it does proc the auto on Cumber, so if he doesn't choose to use it there, he loses it. Uh, so he does choose to use it. He pops your th three cost Vegeta to go ahead and take your one cost, which is essentially going to help him prevent you from evolving your Vegeta chain, which is not bad. Oh yeah, he didn't want that removal. That I could yeah, get rid of his secret removal would have been easy. great, because honestly, that secret would have been gone in the turn after played, and you didn't even get attacked by it, which is would have been a fantastic come up on your end. Oh yeah, that early secret, it's hard to get around. We're going to see what you decide to do here. One energy for Trunks. Mm -hmm. You do get Super Command Man, but the both of those draw effects are an activation. Draw, draw as a cost on the evolve for trunks and then the auto on your leader says when you activate EX evolve so that is a draw too yes sir <coughs> I love drawing me too swinging with 15k from robotic repose here it looks like he does combo out you don't combo there you got three energy here so you can either choose to continue with aggression or be defensive it looks like you do decide to once again trunks you get a draw and you get your trunks out so it looks like he essentially almost just wasted that kind of play he made me. He taxed it a little bit. He made me uh, tap two instead of the one. So yeah, but they all every the first interaction you did it not only replaced itself, but it drew you one. And then when you played the next one, it replaced uh, yeah. itself as well. So you, you, he went down yeah. a card in hand I while you up. didn't. You you know. Well, you yeah. technically didn't go up, but you went. You made it even. Yeah. yeah. Because you had to replay the drunk, but he just drew again anyways. True. And me being yellow didn't really mind pa tapping another one and just passing. Absolutely, absolutely. But you're still staring down Cumber, so we're going to have to really see a very, very well-defended turn here with two energy up on yellow side of the field. You do have quite a lot of bodies out, and the first counter that you activate is going to have to make you warp one due to true fighting. Yep. But the first card he's going to play is going to have to be rested on Trunks, so I'm feeling a little bit... I got a little wiggle room. We're both at four life, which never feels great, but... Absolutely. And I don't and, think I ended and up... And honestly, in terms of attacks, he only has three viable attacks. He has his leader here, his 16k blocker, and his uh, and his cumber. But if he chooses... Well, I guess he, does, he also has true fighting if he chooses to take a life and make a 15k. He also would have to get to three markers to swing with his unison, which he doesn't... Which he technically might not be able to get to. And also the Vegeta is a 4k so it's not worth attacking with so really you only have to deal with three attacks and like you said the first one comes in rested yep and he did over on six comes in rested six 30k so you saved yourself a 30k off the rip yeah not but I bad. think he picks up a picked up a thwarting yeah I would imagine yeah yep, yep, there goes thwarting. thwarting immediately get one energy for thwarting by uh putting those two back to the warp he uses the plus on the unison afterwards to mo move another card to the warp and then he swings here with his thwarting, this is a 25k double strike, while at the same time allowing him to warp a battle guard from your side of the field. So he does something with it. You do robotic repose, which is fantastic here, because now he don't have to worry about multiple attacks, because he's either going to have to start tapping your card, or his cards, or his energy. Yep. And I believe at this point, he was deciding whether or not to activate his... And you went ahead and let a Nimbus go, which could have been an even better floodgate in this uh, situation. Yeah, but I kind of want to see him tap out stuff. It Be costs you more as well because he does have true fighting. So Mecha costs you it from hand and then the cost for true fighting, while Nimbus costs you it in hand, a card from hand, and the cost for true fighting. Yeah, and I know I have good cards in my hand. I can do survive the rest of this turn. Yeah, absolutely. So he did decide to get rid of the secret on thwarting. Absolutely. Smartest, smartest removal option for him there, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, 100%. I think in this situation where... Uh, talking about the auto on the cumber and how it, it, we're talking about ownership of cards and if it's in the opponent's field because your card has barrier and we we're just wondering if he's allowed to select your card with barrier on his field to pop uh, due to the cumber's effect and steal something. Yep, and I believe we decided that it did have barrier, correct? Uh, no. No, that he was it's, able. It's his card still, even though it's your, you're the owner of the card. Yeah, so like uh, he, he would be able to, he would be able to pop the Vegeta, yes. 
Oh, he would? Yes, because it's in his side of the field, so you're the opponent of the card, technically. Okay. So you can't choose it with your skills, so he can choose it with his skills. Okay. Rem- it's a very interesting uh, predicament. Leave it in the comments a- below if you have a better explanation for that. It's an interesting... For sure. So I think he just passed. Yeah, he did pass there. He didn't have much other things to rest, and he probably didn't want to have to use all of his energy there. So we're going into your next turn here. You swing with your leader. You got your auto to play a one drop, and you chose to draw a card off that. I believe that's a Bulma one drop at that. Yeah, you did choose to play the Bulma. Yep, I did. I just wanted the draw and possible and it combo. Honestly, looks like you don't have any one drops in the drop area, anyways. Yeah, I think I was Z charging them. It looks like here bit. you're using the leader double strike. Yep, yep. like I said, you kind of want to use that liberally. Uh, it's it's basically, easier to use you it You basically now. want to make sure you just get it done and over, over with, with before yep. you go to Z leader or before you're even ready to do Z leader. Yep. So do it kind of as like a surprise pressure, in my opinion. They're always going to be afraid of that leader with that under it now, I think. Absolutely. So we do see the super combo taking you from 25 to 30, and you combo a 5K as well, going to 40K double strike. We'll see what Gogeta Zeno does here in order to get out of this attack. Yeah, I know that being a black deck, he probably doesn't have all that many cards he wants to combo from his hand. So I'm, I don't want to push it too much. Just a little bit of pressure. Just and, enough to make him consider comboing. Yep. But, it looks like here he chose to take that damage going down to two life putting you in the upper hand for sure because you still have five energy to play with this turn so you can still do crazy things like mira champa uh oolong after that you can still do a lot of crazy things it looks like here you're going to choose to pay one and two z energy to go into your z leader a uh, very fantastic card especially since you already did swing with your leader you get to here just pay one energy to go ahead and untap your leader and essentially make him a dual attack while getting the Z leader's auto at the same time as getting your front size auto as well, which is very strong. Basically like a tap two, draw three. Yeah, it's not that, not that bad. No, I like it. Especially if you uh, play another body, because then those two bodies that you just played can be combo power next turn. Absolutely. Or evolve targets. Or... We're going one energy to counterplay. He didn't negate. Okay, so you swing. He, with your leader, it's a 20k crit, which is pretty threatening. He negated with his Goku. You went ahead and counterplayed with Tyrannical Blow because it's a 3 or less. It comes in skill negated. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have skills anyways. But the second part of Tyrannical Blow's effect is that you get to choose another battle card or unison in play and negate his skills for the turn. There, you went ahead and chose the 6-drop blocker. So now he cannot activate the blocker skill on that ter- card for the duration of this turn, which is very, very smart play on your end. Oh, yeah. I knew I was going right into the 8-drop. I didn't want him to... uh block that triple striker yep so because you did because you swing at the z leader you got the option to play the one drops from the drop area you played them out and then you paid two energy to go into the triple striker boss monster card so you swing in you use your activate battle there pop two cards from underneath it remove two cards from his field you draw a card and then he gains triple strike here so not only is he a critical but he is a 35 triple critical which is very strong yeah, I'm a, very, very strong. Yeah. And he's in your yellow, you got tons of combo power. You did already use your secret rare, so he doesn't have to worry about that. But you do. It looks like you dump quite a bit here. Yeah, I counted his uh, super combos. I think he had two used, and I just knew he had the rest. I was nervous. Okay, so you do combo up quite a bit. I can't, because of the glare, which I apologize about, guys. Uh, it's hard for me to see exactly the number there, but I imagine you're 35, 20, uh, 35, 45, 55, and then he goes ahead and gets above that with three super combos, two 5Ks so far, three 5Ks. Four, five Ks. Okay, so he did quite a bit there to survive that attack because that was a massive number. The base of that card was just being 35 and already takes so many cards from your opponent's hand if they don't negate. But he did survive and he does have quite a bit of cards in hand still. So we're going to have to see Trunks Vegeta do whatever he can to survive this. But I do believe before that last attack, time was called. So Trunks Vegeta won in time uh, w- uh, before going into this turn. So we're going to... At our locals, we're very friendly. We just wanted to see how this game was going to end anyway, so we went ahead and played it through, even though Trunks already won this game. Yeah, we were we had done the 30 and then the turns. Yeah, it was, it's, five you know, minutes, we get 30-minute so. rounds. It's the best of one, and then afterwards we go into normal end-of-game procedures, which, of course, is three turns or five minutes, whichever comes first. And then, uh, of course, after that, we'll go by life, board state, and hand size. 
But he had survived the turn. I was tapped. I wanted to see if I could survive it or if he was going to. Right. And, and and because it was in time and we had already made the decision just to play it out, that's why you decided to go in with your triple striker. But yeah. it looks like he's going in here. He did pay two for his servant from the warp, which is a very good card. This is a big beast of a card. Makes you warp a card from hand, warp a, ba a barrier battle card. And then he plays his dual tag trunks, which is very strong. And he still has true fighting. So if you do decide to negate, which at this point in the game, if you do so, you're doing it at the cost of a life and a cost of a card from hand because of true fighting. So. Yeah. Man, that card Swing in with a double, so it looks like you did hand. do it. Did, you did do it. Here comes Frieza Army. You're gonna have to warp a card from hand. So yeah. that goes. You are at one life. You do have a blocker though. He swings for 20k. You go ahead and block that. Blocker dies. He swings in for a 15k. Or, well, a 5k. He takes the life. Gets becomes a 15k, and then here I imagine he dumps putting you into uh, a lethal position if you don't combo out. But with that being said, guys, that was the game. Trunks won this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will see you guys next time.